Let's go, bub! What's up, everyone, and thank you for joining us once again on the D-Star01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Rashulis, and today we will be unboxing the Marvel Legends X-Men series. I'm so psyched about this one because I've been waiting a long time for these to come in. And currently at my store, I do not have any. <laughs> this is the only set I managed to pick up from my distributor, Hasbro, because these are so hard to come by right now. Um, all those toy stores happened to pick them up before I did, because as you guys know, D-Star Toys is a pretty new toy store, so I, have, I didn't get my pre-order in. Which, by the way, you can pre-order this set at www.dstartoys.com. You're allowed to search for awesome action figures. So, the reason why I'm so excited about this is not because Gambit and Jubilee are in it, but because we get a Forge and a Blink. I've been wanting a Forge and a Blink figure for quite some time, and also we get Caliban which is, I believe that's when Apocalypse turned him into the Angel of Death, which I am so psyched about that one. So enough of me talking, let's get these guys open, let's see what's going on here, and let's see if they are worth your money, which probably they are. You can find these for about 20 to 25 bucks. And first, let's open the Raging Cajun Gambit here. So psyched about this one, I really love this look. Definitely reminds me a lot of the early uh, 90s comic book. Or not early '90s comic, the uh, the TV sh the TV series, the cartoon, and I really love that cartoon. One of my favorite cartoons of all time. And let's open this guy up, and let's see what is going on here. Let's pull him out of his plastic cage. Let's shine some more light on this guy. So let's look here. We have Remy's classic uh, swooped hair, which goes to one side. We got that five o'clock shadow. We get the awesome, uh, like, um, what is this, like bodysuit that he always wears. And of course we have the trench coat. And of course we have the um, fingerless gloves, which he holds his playing cards, which he charges up. And that is really cool. This is everything I wanted in a Gambit figure. I do have the old Toy Biz one, which I don't have with me right now. But I always thought that one was just not that good. It was really skinny. But when I saw this one, I was glad they bolted him up a bit, and he definitely looks much more accurate to the comic and to the animated series, so I'm really psyched about this one. Um, as you know, most Marvel Legends have the same points of articulation, so we're just going to go over articulation with the first figure, and then everyone else will pretty much be the same, uh, unless I spot something differently. So let's go right into articulation. We have an up and down here at the ankle. We do get a shin swivel right there. We got a double jointed knee. We got the classic ball joint right there with a thigh swivel as well. We got solid ab crunch. Actually, I really like the ab crunch on this one. This is really nice. Um, and of course, we have the ball joint there at the shoulder. We get a bicep swivel. Uh, joint here at the elbow and the ball and peg combo there at the wrist and we get the one at the neck looking to be above 20 points of articulation this gambit is really really cool i have to say he looks fantastic now let's go over accessories and here's his staff and we're going to get into the uh, kinetic cards soon now the problem i've always had with uh, marvel legends figures is that they don't really hold their accessories too well and this is kind of not the exception <laughs> as you can see this this can easily be um, uh, it pushed out or something like that it's not he doesn't hold it super well which is something I'm really hoping they they fix in the future because I really hope they could just hold it it just I hate the fact that they're loose in hand like that it just nah, that's not good but I mean I mean but regardless, the staff does look really cool. Let's put see if we can shine some more light on there. And let's look close at the staff. It has a really nice silver finish. And it's pretty much the plain old gamut staff. And let's see what else he has here when, in terms of accessories. We have the throwing card hand for his kinetic card. And we can remove this. And we can put this here. So we can get a nice little effect there. Let's zoom out and let's see. I'll show you what I mean. So if you're like playing Marvel vs. Capcom, no, not Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm sorry, uh, X Men vs. Street Fighter. You can have this right here. That looks really cool. Kinetic card. Love that. 
Uh, one of my friends is a Gambit main, and he is really good with him. Can never beat him with Gambit when he's playing Gambit. Anyway, and then we have a regular card here that's just charged up. And I believe you could put this uh, in between the fingers like so. So you can have him showing off. Let's do that right now. So we're going to pull that one off. And we can go like something like that. And that looks really solid right there. I'd have to say so myself. That looks really cool. Wow. I absolutely love how that looks. Very cool. See, you have something like that. Ooh, look how fancy that looks. Wow. I can't believe this is a 20 to $25 figure. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right. Let's move on to the other action figures in the set. And uh, you know what's funny is Gambit doesn't come with a Caliban piece, which is really odd. But anyway, he's, he comes to in a case, by the way. So let's move on. We are looking at Beast. I really love this Beast. I also have the Toy Biz one, which I don't have with me because right now I'm in the process of moving and all my action figures are just everywhere. Well, they're in different boxes and I can't seem to find the ones that I need. So we'll just look at this one and we'll see what's going on here. Again, these figures are only 20 to 25 bucks and Marvel Legends is really knocking it out of the park, especially with this one. I've been seeing a lot of people loving this figure for what it is. Oh gosh, he is really in there. Okay. Woo! Super articulated. Wow. So he's, he has all the same articulation points as Gambit. Uh, actually, he's minusing the, uh, the uh, shin swivel, which is fine. But it looks like he even has some sort of... Yeah, he does. So he has butterfly joints, which is really cool, even though they don't do that much. It, but it every little bit helps. He can hug himself really nice. And I really love how Hank looks here. Wow. I really love the super blue fur that we got going on here. We got a nice fur texture all over this. And we even get some gradients of the black uh, fur going into the blue, which is really cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then also, if we look at the hair, we get like the highlights of blue into the black and we get the angry face. I was really kind of hoping we'd get like a professor kind of looking face with the glasses. That would have been cool too, but nonetheless, we get kind of like this action-packed beast, which is very accurate to me from the, old, from the comics and also from the animated series, which I think this line is pretty much what it's trying to do. Uh, a lot of it reminds me of the animated series and also of the Marvel versus, or sorry, X-Men vs. Street Fighter video game. So, obviously, Beast wasn't in it, but definitely Gambit was. So, yeah, this looks really cool. A lot of people say he's pretty balanced, too. Like, he can do the, he can do his classic um, poses, something like, like a breakdance pose, which we will be doing at the end of the video. And there's even a hand for it, see? This is a flat hand, so you can get that pose on. And, like I said, in the end of the video, we'll be showing that off. And of course, we have one fist hand. Sadly, we do not get two. And of course, we get the Caliban head. That looks really cool. At the end of the video, we will be building Caliban. So stay tuned for the end of the video. So yeah, oh man, I really like this figure. He's really hardy. He's really beastly. See what I did there? And yeah, definitely worth it for the 20 to 25 bucks. He looks really cool. And my favorite X-Men. Wolverine, a.k.a. Weapon X. This is him when he was being tested on. And I'm really psyched for this one because I don't think we've gotten one, like a, a Weapon X figure, a modern one, in the, in the, for a while. I remember there's one from, uh, from Toy Biz. I never managed to pick that one up. So this is kind of like my second chance to get him. And let's look here. We got like this half naked uh, Wolverine here. Got the mask on. We got him with his claws. Of course, these claws can be removed, but I'm not going to be removing them because I really like the way they look. And all the joints are tight. Everything looks cool. This looks really solid. And I love all the tubes and machinery that are all over him. That looks really tight. Really good looking. Wow, look at this. The shading on the skin is even 
really well done. We do have some paint defects here, but this isn't really too much to worry about, considering that the figure was like 20 bucks. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in, and I'll show you right there. Yeah, it's not too bad. Honestly, it's not too bad considering the price point. And he looks super cool, and he's really articulated. And also, I believe, yes, yes, he does. He also has butterfly joints, if you look right here. Wow, that's really cool. So you can get a solid range of motion in the arms right there. That's really nice. And we don't get anything else, no, like, open hands or nothing. But we do get a Logan head and Caliban's uh, leg there, which, again, we will be looking at at the end of the video. So let's take off this helmet. And let's put on the Logan face. <sighs> if I can, give me one second. Oh, wow, that's an extremely tight fit. And there he is, he's escaping the labs right there. Looking really cool. Wow, that's a really nice figure. They even tried to put in some highlights there. Which is really nice, which is always a welcome addition when it comes to paint and detail. So this is what you get with him, which is pretty rad if you love Wolverine. Obviously, this is one to get. So, all right, so let's clean up the table and let's keep moving on here. I've been waiting for a Forge figure for quite some time. And let's open him up. Let's see what's going on here. The man who makes all the X-Men stuff, weapons and stuff. So cool. All right, so here is Forge. Let's see if we can get him out of his plastic prison. Okay. Okay, so um, the first thing I notice is that the uh, his boots Let's see, is this even a thing? I don't know if we can even see. So, the thing is, when it comes to like accessories that come on the figure, they're usually really loose. Like the, uh, I don't even know what these are called, like the, the top of the boots here. They're supposed to be on like that. But as you can see, they're so easy to remove. And this might require an application of super glue to get them to stay on correctly. So yeah, that's so unfortunate that stuff like that happens. Like my Cyclops from Marvel Legends, he has like a holster or a belt thing right here on his thigh and that just kept falling off. So I just had to super glue it on. Well, anyway, we also have a holster thing right here on Forge. We got his uh, cybernetic leg right there. Um, I love the ponytail, that looks really cool. The 80 stash looking really rad. Love that classic uh, X-Men X-Force type uh, suit there. And let's look at his weapons. We get like this rifle, which kind of reminds me of the M60 that comes standard with most Marvel Legends, but it's a little bit modified. So it looks a little bit different, which is something I really like. Let's see if we can put this on him. So he does have a trigger finger. Let's see if we can adjust that. So yeah, the trigger finger does may help so much when they're holding their weapons. Because like I said before, when it comes to accessories on Marvel Legends, they just don't hold it very well. That's so unfortunate. And let's look here at the pistol that he comes with. I believe he doesn't, he doesn't have a trigger finger on the other hand, which is kind of sad. But he can dual wield. So no trigger finger, but he does hold it. Actually, he holds the pistol really nicely, I'd have to say. So there you have it. That's Forge, and also let's look right here. If you look at the holster, you can fit the pistol right there, and that's a really nice snug fit. This looks really cool. I really like this figure. It's just so unfortunate that these are loose. You're going to have to glue those on permanently so they don't move. I really wish they just, they just grew, they should just glue them on in the factory. Of course, that's just my opinion. He looks really solid. I really love this figure. Let's move on. Also, we get a Caliban arm which we will show you right here, and that's the arm. All right, let's clean up a little here and let's move on. All right, Blink, we got Blink here. She even has some sort of like teleporting effect right there, which looks really cool. We're gonna open her up. We're gonna see what's going on with this figure. I don't think they, I, I think they have made a Blink figure before, but I don't think they made her looking like this. 
Tell me if you remember that figure down in the comments down below. And let's look here. And wow, this looks really cool. I love the way she looks. We got that beautiful purple skin. Got that green outfit going on here, which is beautifully painted. Uh, there's very minor defects, but it's nothing to scoff at, to be honest. And I love these little green boots here. And this skirt is bendable, and she looks really cool. Um, all the same articulation points as usual for a Marvel Legends. She looks like the standard female body. Uh, nothing too special here when it comes to the sculpt. But I really love this face. Let's look at this face. Wow. Look at those eyes. Those are beautifully painted on. I love the hair. Looking really solid. Let's look at the effect piece here. And let's zoom out. And I'll show you. Let's see if we can push her back. So that's how it looks like. She stands in the middle of there. Which is really cool. I always love effect pieces. And last but not least, we get these. Look out what these were, these were called. You can hold them like so. There you have it. Looks really cool. Have her stand in the middle. Something like that. Of course, we will be posing them at the end of the video. She looks really solid. Love this figure as well. And then, of course, we get the other leg of Caliban, which we will be putting at the end of the video. Now, this character I don't know too much about, uh, Skullbuster. But he looks really solid. I love all the metal and stuff that look that are on him. And we're going to open him up and we're going to see what's going on here. All I know is I believe he's a villain of the X-Men. Push him out. Oh, wow. Okay, let's look close here. Skullbuster here with a really nice looking face. Look at that face. It looks really cool. Love the jacket and everything like that. I love the uh, bandolier of bullets there. And the legs look really solid. Looking really cool. Um, all the articulation points are accounted for. It looks to be a really articulated figure. All right, so let's take the pistol here. It looks like this pistol has an extended magazine, which is really cool. It has a scope on it. And of course this finger or this hand has a trigger finger on it. So that means it is made for the pistol. And there you have it. That looks really solid. I wish he came with more guns. <laughs> but anyway, I mean he has the bandolier of 5.56s five, or it looks like 5.56s five, five, or 7.62s. But he doesn't have a gun to go with it. <laughs> I find that really funny. And then you can, uh, you can holster it right there which looks really cool. That's a really solid uh, fit right there. And we get an extra head to put on him. Again, don't really know too much about the character. And the head comes off really easily for me. And there you have it. That's how he looks like with the uh, unmasked head. That looks really cool right there. Wow. And let's look at the Build-A-Figure piece. We get the other arm of Caliban. And now, we're down to the final figure. which is Jubilee, which she looks so much like the uh, X-Men cartoon series uh, Jubilee, which is one figure I could not wait to get. And now that she's here, I'm really excited about this one. So essentially I'm saving a, a character that I really remembered as a child. Jubilee, wow. Can't wait for this one. Saving her for last. Uh, all right, so we pulled her out of the box, and let's look at her classic 90s look here, which we have wonderful transparent pink glasses right there, and it looks really, really good. We got this super bright yellow jacket or trench coat, we got the blue gloves, we got the denim shorts right there, wonderful skin tone that goes matches really well with every, everything else, and we got the blue boots, which gives her that look. Uh, we don't get effect pieces, which I would have been nice to have like that, uh, that uh, some sort of effect piece that mimics fireworks would have been really solid. But unfortunately, we don't get anything like that. But we do get her with the open hands 
which looks like she's shooting them out at you. And you also get the body of Caliban. And let's look at her here. It looks like we get two pairs of shades. Well, this is kind of neat. And also we get, let's look here, we got an un, no glasses head. And she's chewing some bubble gum there. Or blowing a bubble with the bubble gum, which looks really cool. I really love the details in this head. Looks fantastic. I'm wondering if you can remove the glasses. Let's find out. No, you can't. So I'm assuming these glasses, the reason why you get to, I don't know why you get to. Maybe it looks like one could go on here. So let's see if we can do that right now. The gloves are making it really difficult for me. Ooh, there we go. That looks really cool right there. Let's zoom in. See, that looks really cool. And I don't know what these ones are for. <laughs> I'm assuming they, she wears it around her neck or something like that. Uh, I'll figure it out at the end of the video. And let's put the bubblegum head on. And let's adjust those glasses. And there you have it. There's her fully outfitted shooting fireworks at you wow really love how this looks so now that we have gotten all the action figures open let's push everything aside and let's build caliban here all right everyone please stand by as i put him together all right, so we have him together, and this is him, super bulked up, super strong. Uh, I believe he was enhanced by Apocalypse here, so he's not that skinny guy anymore. Uh, man, this is really, really cool looking. Uh, let's look close here, and I, I'll show you why I think this guy is really cool. If you look here at the head, you have like some, uh, some sort of texture that looks like he's uh, worn and beaten up, but at the same time, it's just really detailed and the yellow eyes look really cool. Love the paintwork on the head and the hands as well. If you look here, the detail on the hands look really cool and wrinkled like Caliban should be in the comic books. And he looks really solid. I have to say, this is a really nice build a figure. Um, one thing that I keep forgetting, I guess we're going to do this uh, before we come up with a conclusion. Yeah, this figure just looks really cool. We're going to see how tall he is. And he stands roughly around eight inches and let's start measuring all the other characters as we stand them up so let's put Caliban in the back there we got Skullbuster here he's standing at six and a half and we got Jubilee she is standing at under six, just a hair under six. Uh, we're probably gonna put her up front because she's shorter. We got Logan here, Weapon X. Let's see if we can stand him up straight. He's standing at about six inches exactly. So as you can see, they all scale really well. Most Marvel Legends should scale together with each other. Uh, not so much SH figure arts and stuff like that as everyone falls over. We got Blink here, she's standing around six. All right, everyone, please stand by as I try to set these guys up. All right, let's look at Gambit and let's see how tall he's standing. He's standing at six and a half inches, really tall figure. And let's look at Beast. We're trying to try to stand him, him up real nice and tall. He's standing at almost seven inches to the very top of the hair. Wow, he's a really big figure. Also, here's something else that I noticed. Since Beast doesn't have the articulation in the shin, he does have toe articulation, which is really cool. Uh, very rarely do we see toe articulation when it comes to uh, Marvel Legends. So he's definitely well above 25 points of articulation. I think when it comes to this set, I think Beast is the most articulated one. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> this is a really nice set. I really love this set. All right, let's see. All right, so we stood him up there. And last but not least, we have Forge. We're going to see how tall he stands. He's standing at about six and a quarter inches. All right, let me stand him up and then we will come with a final conclusion with this figure, with this figure set. All right, guys, I stood them all up. Let's come up with a conclusion. 
Is this set worth the money? Yes, absolutely. From 20 for 20 to $25, you get really detailed X-Men action figures. Uh, the the one that I think is the best value is Beast. And one of the reasons why I think Beast is the best value is because he has so many points of articulation. He looks really good. It looks like they put a lot of time, paint, and detail into Beast. And you get these extra hands so he can balance, especially with this one. Like I said, I'm going to get him to balance at the end of the video. And uh, it just look, he just looks like he stands out from the rest of the crew. Now, I'm not saying the rest are bad. Oh, absolutely not. The rest are fantastic. I love how Forge looks. I really love the Weapon X Wolverine. I really love Gambit especially. Oh, this Gambit's just going to be amazing in my collection. Jubilee, Blink, Caliban, and even Skullbuster back there. He, they, these, This set is just fantastic. This is really... I, You know, I usually say there's a filler figure. But you know what? When it comes to this set, none of them are really fillers, in my opinion. Uh, when I was looking for this set in Target and Walmart, I couldn't find any. Um, it's, this, this set's kind of hard for me to find right now in the West Coast. I know they're going to come out uh, in waves, but I have a feeling these guys are going to sell like hotcakes. And hopefully I can get more in my store at www.bstartoys.com. Right now I have pre-orders up for the singles for Gambit and Jubilee. So if you're interested in that, you can go over there and pre-order it there. And when I get them in stock, I ship them right away. So final say fantastic figures get them while you can i know they're going to be hot off the shelves anyway guys thanks for watching do not forget to rate comment and subscribe i will see you guys next time.